Hey y'all, just wanted to jump on real quick and welcome everyone. I'm so excited. I'm not used to doing videos on Monday. So if you don't know, we're going to have two videos this week, tonight and one on Friday. And we're going to do a giveaway in this video. And then on Friday, we will I will announce the winners of the giveaway. So I'll come back in just a few minutes and y'all can, I'll let you know how you can enter the giveaway. And where there's a few little changes that are going on on my channel, nothing major. I'm still going to be DIY. I'm still farmhouse, y'all. That's not going to change. And I am still going to do Dollar Tree DIYs, um, along with other things. We'll kind of branch out a little bit, but I'm just making a few changes, seeing if that helps my channel any. So y'all stay tuned after the first DIY, and we'll be back, and we'll talk about how to get in on this giveaway. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. All right, y'all, let's get right into it. DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm using three of these star cutout signs from the Dollar Tree. I got um, two black ones and one wood natural color. And y'all, I'm going to show you a mistake that I did in this. And y'all know I like to show you my mistakes so that you can learn from my mistakes. But anyway, we're just going to get right into it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this faux leather from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover the two black signs with the faux leather. One is gonna be in a burnt orange color and one is going to be in the dark blue color. Now, the leather was not quite long enough, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to figure out the width that I need and I'm gonna cut that piece of leather out. After that, I'm going to take that other piece and I'm just going to glue it right to the first piece. Does that make sense? And that's because, again, this faux leather wasn't long enough for the entire board or sign so i'm just measuring out exactly where i need it to be i'm cutting off that excess that i don't need and that little square there i'm going to go ahead and glue to the other piece i'm going to do the same exact thing on the blue piece of leather now there is going to be a seam but do not worry about that because we completely cover that up on down the line and you will not even notice that that seam is there so after we get all of our leather cut out and glued together now i'm going to use some <clears throat> buffalo check vinyl from the dollar tree i'm just marking how long i want it this kind of begins where or this is kind of the start of my mistake so what i do is i go ahead and cover that natural board with the uh, black and white buffalo check from the dollar tree i absolutely love the look of this buffalo check on there but you'll see why it wasn't the best choice here in just a little while. And as you can see, I'm covering up that star cut out. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And then I just cut off the excess. We're going to do the exact same thing when we get to our leather pieces. So on the black ones, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm still cutting. Now we're on to the leather pieces. And we're just going to go ahead and put those on there. We're covering up that star again. Because we don't need the star for this project. What we're doing is we're just going to start gluing down this faux leather. And I do the same exact thing on this one and the burnt orange. I just basically go around the perimeter, around the edges of these signs and glue them down. And I pull as I go so that I can make sure I get as few wrinkles or puffy spots or anything like that as possible. Now, they're not going to be perfect, at least not with me. Y'all know I'm the messy crafter. I don't do anything um a perfect or sometimes some people don't even like how i do regular things but you know that's just who i am so again we're gluing this down all around the edges and then we're going to do the exact same thing on that orange or that burnt orange brown whatever color you want to call that uh leather on the other side sign so i'm just showing you how we're doing this right now and then of course after we get them all glued down we're going to use my um, utility tool and I'm just going utility knife and I'm just going to go around and cut off all of the excess leather that we don't need. Then I went ahead and made some decals on the blue. I put happy and on the burnt orange or brown. I put y'all and let me tell you this vinyl sticks so well to this leather i was really surprised i was afraid i was going to have trouble with it sticking but honestly it sticks perfectly and the font that i'm using here is um the skinny and i get it for free on defont.com 
So if y'all want to look that up, um, it's my favorite font ever. Okay, after I get these two finished, now here comes my mistake. So I'm wanting to put, well, oops, sorry, not yet. First, I'm going to glue these all together. And what I'm doing is I am pushing that. How do I explain this? You're going to see it here in just a minute. The, these are all the same size signs, but I want it to be, I want that buffalo check one in the middle or the middle one to be down farther. You can see right there what I did. I kind of staggered that buffalo check one. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to put my fall decal on my buffalo check. And I realize this is not going to work because it does not, you can barely see the lettering in this. I didn't want to change my font. So what I did is I just ended up taking that buffalo check off of that middle sign and just leaving it in the natural wood color, which takes away from me covering up that star. But you can see here how I, how I remedy that. So then I just put my fall decal right there on the natural wood one. And actually, after it's finished, I'm glad that it kind of turned out like this. I love how this turned out. Now I'm taking one of these pumpkins off of one of these little decor pieces from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to glue that right over the star there. And that's going to cover that star up. Now I'm going to take six tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to paint these with antique wax by waverly and then i just paint it on and then i just wipe it right off now we're going to take some of these little twigs or stems or whatever you want to call them from the dollar tree i'm picking out three that i like and i'm making these little things into like pumpkins so i am just going to go ahead and glue one stem on each of these boards up at the top again these little things you can buy them in packs at the dollar tree and i'm loving crafting with them at, during this fall season now i'm going to take some leaves these actually came off stems from michael's i got them on clearance i believe last year and so i'm just taking two leaves and i am going to put those on right below each of our stems all three of these get the same thing now we're going to cover up those seams so i'm taking this ribbon from the dollar tree i have no idea what you even call this but I love it. I, I think it's super cute. I'm taking the brown color first and I'm just going to glue that on right on that stem. And then there is a creamy or off white color of the same exact ribbon. And I'm going to layer that right on top. And we're going to do the same thing over on the other side um, on the burnt orange, brown, whatever color leather you see. We're going to do the exact same thing. And that is what's going to cover up that stem. After that, I decided it needed a little bit more, so I'm going to take a couple leaves from the Dollar Tree and just glue those right inside, right there inside where that ribbon is. Then I took a piece of scrap wood from the Dollar Tree that you can find in the wood section, stained it, and now I'm just gluing my sign to the Dollar Tree board. Now, that was not stable enough, so this is where our tumbling tower blocks come in. We're going to take and glue three on the front butted right up against that sign there and then three on the back the exact same way i don't show you the back but it's the exact same concept now we're going to make a little bow i'm just going to let y'all watch how i do this i cut two different ribbons i put them in a circle and then glue them together and then i put my smaller ribbon on top of my bigger ribbon and then that second that last piece is for our tails so i just layer that scrunch it up in the middle use a cable tie zip tie to put them together and then i bring my tails down dovetail those and of course clip off that <laughs> excess zip tie i glue that right to our center piece and y'all that's it i'm gonna put this on my deck i cannot wait to be able to put it out there i think it's so super cute let me know what y'all think going to be giving away a set of these new farmhouse calendars these are the three that I got to give away so in order to be a part of this giveaway just watch tonight's video watch Friday's video because Friday is when I will give it away so you have a week to get in I want to know what is your favorite thing to do on a fall day if you have nothing planned and it's just one of those days that you need some self-care or something like that. Self-care for me is definitely 
definitely reading. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing to do on a fall day. And I will announce the winner of the three farmhouse calendars on Friday. Okay, y'all, make sure you get in on this giveaway. Just comment in the section in the comment section what your favorite thing to do on a fall day is. We're moving right along to DIY number three, or two, I'm sorry, I can't count today. And I'm using two of these 11 by 14 canvases from the Dollar Tree, a win window cling, some black vinyl from the Dollar Tree, and two jumbo craft sticks. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butt these two canvases together and we are just going to put some popsicle sticks right in the middle there just to hold them on the back. I put one in the middle and then I put two on each side and that gives us a really firm base for our project. I've done one of these in a previous video. I'll link that below, but it was a little bit different of a con concept, but I absolutely love these window clings this year from the Dollar Tree and I had to figure out a way to use them. So now I'm taking the black vinyl from the Dollar Tree and we're going to cover this canvas. I end up having to use two pieces, which does make a seam in the middle, but don't worry about it. That is, you're not even going to notice once you get the window cling on there. So once we get our piece of vinyl on that first piece, we're just gonna cut around the edges and get it as close to the edge as we possibly can. Then we're going to put our second piece on there. We're just gonna line it up as best as we can. Um, again, this is a solid color, so it's really not that big of a deal. On the other one, I used Buffalo Check, but I wanted to try it with a solid color to see how it turned out. After we're finished with that, we're going to take our window cling and we are just going to cut off the little tabs up at the top and then take off the little section piece. That section, where that section piece gave me a little bit of problems, but we remedy that, you'll see in just a minute how. So after that, we're going to use some Mod Podge and we're going to do, I'm gonna do the top part of the canvas first. I'm doing this one in sections because it's so big. And I put on a good, thick, even layer of Mod Podge and then I lay my piece down. Now, that little piece where the suction piece came out is kind of raised and it was giving me some problems. So I just go ahead and cut that out here in a second. And it we cover that up later, you won't even know that was there. Now I will tell you now, before anyone comes at me in the comments, um, there are a few places in this in the final project where it looks like maybe, I don't know if it bubbled or if the Mod Podge just didn't dry right. So it leaves kind of a couple little splotches, but I like it. I think it looks cute and it blends in really well. I'll show you all what I'm talking about here in just a minute. But because this is like a barn wood kind of design on this window cling, to me, it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, just try to push it down a little more evenly than I did. And that should take care of the problem. And now I wanna kind of make this a three dimensional piece. So I'm taking some leaves from a combination of from the Dollar Tree and from Michael's from last year. I'm cutting them off their picks and everywhere that there is a leaf on our window cling, I'm gluing a real, or not a real, but you know, uh, another leaf on top of it. I kind of wanted this just to pop out a little more. Then I go ahead and put two leaves down here in the bottom corner. It shows that I have them on the other corner, but I don't end up keeping those. Now to cover up where we cut it out, we're just gonna use some more leaves. I use a brown one in the middle, and then I just kind of layer it with other leaves, a couple white leaves, and then another leaf from the Dollar Tree. Again, you can see kind of the splotches there if you look really closely. That doesn't bother me. If that bothers you, you know, just try to push it down a little more as you're doing it but it didn't bother me at all but i know someone will come at me in the comments so i'm just letting you all know i know it's there but it doesn't bother me now i just kind of layer some more leaves on top of the other leaves and that's it this is a really cute sign you can see the splotches a little more there but i'm absolutely in love with it and cost me less than three or less than five dollars okay y'all diy number three and our final diy for today so I'm going to take this paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree and what we're gonna do is all, all around the bottom, we're going to paint that with some dark brown um, chalk paint. I did three coats because, you know, paint on metal is a little hard to get it to stick and get it to cover. So I did three coats just so the brown and honestly, you don't even have to do this step because all of this gets covered up, but I just did it, you know, just to have more of a cohesive look, I guess. 
After that, we're gonna put that to the side and let that dry. Now we're gonna take an empty paper towel roll, holder, roll, <laughs> and some of the brown burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to start wrapping this ribbon all the way up the paper towel roll. Now, I, what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it and gluing just in different sections. I'm not worrying about gluing the entire piece. I'm trying to pull this as I wrap it so that there's not a lot of gaps or bulging out. And you can see I even took it apart a minute and started wrapping again and just pulling it as tightly as I can, gluing every now and then. You're going to go all the way up to the paper towel whole, uh, roll top and then securely glue that down. After we get that finished, we're taking another little piece of wood from the Dollar Tree wood section and we are going to glue our paper towel holder to our wood. Now this is why you honestly don't have to paint this if you don't want to. Because now we're going to take a lot of hot glue and some reindeer moss and we are going to cover this entire bottom piece and the wood with the reindeer moss. This can get a little messy. Y'all know me, I'm the messy crafter. The mess doesn't bother me. If it does, I apologize, but this is the only way I can figure out how to do this. When I get some on, I just kind of shake off the excess and then I just start layering again. And again, I go completely around this entire wood piece and the bottom of the paper towel holder. This is what it looks like when we get it finished. Now what we're doing is putting our tape, paper towel roll on the paper towel holder then i took some leaves from the dollar tree the bundles and i kind of pointed them downwards because i'm wanting this to be like a tree so i'm pointing them downwards so some of the leaves look like they're falling and then i just put two or three it's however many you want to make this as full as you want bundles of leaves on the inside there after i get that finished i'm just going to take some excess leaves that i kind of cut off pieces I'm going to glue those around the bottom, sorry about the angle, and just to look like falling leaves. Y'all, I am absolutely in love with this, and I honestly think I'm gonna make me a couple more. Look how stinking cute that fall tree is. That's probably one of my favorites in this video. So y'all, we're at the final reveal. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Don't forget about the giveaway. Stay tuned Friday to see who our winner is comment what your favorite fall thing to do is i hope you enjoyed this i hope you love these projects as much as i do i appreciate each and every one of you and love y'all more than you know if it wasn't for your support my channel would not still be up and running so i appreciate you all thanks for watching y'all come back now you hear